Are you getting ready to start cosmetology school? Or are you currently in cosmetology school and you just need a little encouragement to keep pushing? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 tips to help you succeed in cosmetology school. If you don't know who I am, you've never seen my face on your screen before. Hey, I'm Shady, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back to my channel if this ain't your first time thorough. Okay, I'm the owner of Shady Beauty Co., a beauty and lifestyle brand that caters to the everyday woman who likes to live a glamorous lifestyle without breaking the bank. Okay, I'm also currently in cosmetology school, and I thought I'd just give you a few tips based on my experience so far in cosmetology school most of the videos that i've seen on youtube have been from either students that have just graduated from cosmetology school or hairstylists that are already in the field so i thought it will it will be great to give a different perspective from someone that is still currently in cosmetology school so let go but wait before we get into this video if you like videos like this and beauty entrepreneurship and lifestyle content then go ahead and subscribe to my channel okay I'm going to give you two reasons. Number one, it's free. Uh-huh. We saving our coins over here. It's free. And number two, I'm very much lit over here. Okay? And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know each and every time she uploads a video. Let's get right into it. Okay, y'all. So, tip number one. And this may be one of the most important tips. Okay? And this is not in no specific order. This is just what came off the dome okay <laughs> so the first tip i would have to say is to know your intentions okay know your intentions for going to cosmetology school is it because you think that the beauty industry um has a lot of opportunities to make money um is hair or nails or skincare truly your passion um you just trying to go get your license you've been doing this <laughs> you're just trying to get your license like know what your intentions are and set goals for yourself for me i have a business shady beauty co and i mostly specialize in wind construction and maintenance services right but i wanted to expand my horizon and go to cosmetology school to learn about hair care and chemical and texture services and coloring services and your professional image as a stylist like these are a few things that i wanted to learn to be you know the best she can be you feel me also and to get my license duh <laughs> like a duh but truly if this is not something that you love don't do it don't do it okay like your intention for going to cosmetology school has to be right. It has to be right, okay? Because, baby, you gotta be paying your money for it. I'm not paying my money for nothing I don't love. And that's on period, okay? Some cosmetology schools do offer financial aid, but if you're a college graduate like I am, yes, they cover my tuition, but everything else, I gotta pay for out of pocket. So I'm not paying for nothing that won't be beneficial to you, girl okay period so know your intentions and know your goals set them out before you even go or if you're currently already in cosmos cosmetology school make quarterly goals make yearly goals like period okay y'all so tip number two is to stay stay just to stay stay yay 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 your way way organized stay organized okay most cosmetology programs are on a set time frame for my school is 14 months or a year and three months something like that and you have to complete your 1200 hours and all of your practicals and all these things like that stay on top of the things that you have to do if you know you have an exam coming up if you know you have practicals this 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 do by the end of the week write it down if you're not a writing down person and you just have a bionic brain and you remember at least have a checklist in your head stay organized because it's very easy to fall behind if you're not on top of your shiz okay i'm not gonna say the word but it is very hard to fall behind if you're not on top of the things that you need to be doing and you don't want to be in school longer than you need to who wants to do that i know i don't so stay organized use a planner 
use a, a checklist in your head use whatever devices that you need in order to stay organized and get out of them people's school on time graduate on time and go take your your test and get your license period okay, okay. so the next tip i would say is to be teachable be teachable and be open-minded so you're going to school for a reason right whatever it may be maybe it's just to get your license you think you know it all you don't okay don't think you know it all because you truly don't and if you think you do maybe there's more to learn maybe you can learn a new technique on something that you've been doing or a faster way to do it baby time is money so if you can find a quicker way to do it just as efficiently and correctly oh baby who wouldn't want to don't get caught up in the old hairstyles and thinking oh nobody's wearing these hairstyles anymore this is what my grandma and them was wearing back in their days because the truth is you're not going to be learning frontals you're not going to be learning closures you're not going into depth about wigs and the new trends that are going on but I promise you, these old techniques can teach you things that you can incorporate into the service that you're, services that you're going to be providing. So don't sleep on them. Be open-minded because you may find out that you like something that you didn't intend on really learning. So if you're going to cosmetology school, that means that you are going to be a full specialist right a cosmetologist and so you're not only you're not only licensed to just do hair you can do hair you can do nails you can perform skincare services facials and waxing and all those type of things right so be open-minded even if it's not something that you went to school for like for me i went to school mainly for hair obviously but um when I got there, I learned that I really enjoy doing facials. And girl, money, 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 okay? Period. Right now, skincare is big. Facials and all those things, like, it's really big right now. So why would I not want to incorporate facial services into my service list? More money, baby, purr. <laughs> No, but seriously, just be open-minded because those learning those other specialty areas can open doors for you to get more coins, okay? We we love the coins. We love the coins. Piggybacking off of our last tip, our next tip is just to soak up all the knowledge that you can. You in cosmetology school for a reason, right? And it's it's real school. Let's let's be clear. It's not just play play time. We are not playing in baby doll heads all day. We're actually learning. We're learning processes and procedures and products and all of these things. So soak it all up. Soak it all up. You never know what information will be useful to you in the future. Like I said, in these specialty areas, one day you could be doing hair and you wake up and you be like. I'm tired of standing behind this chair. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm about to go do something else. And guess what? You'll be able to because you learned it and you're licensed in it. So you can do it, right? Just soak up every little thing that you can. If you're like me, you are a person who loves to learn. And so whenever my teacher is speaking, I'm like, what she said? What she said? Huh? 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 What you had said? what that was because i want to know everything there is to know about this field everything that i can learn i'm gonna learn it and that's one period okay your knowledge is your power and nobody can take it away from you okay All right moving right along the next tip i would say is to pay attention to procedures so you are learning chemical and texture service, chemical texture services you're learning so with that permanent waving relaxing curl permanent um you're learning coloring you're dealing with a whole bunch of chemicals a whole bunch of this that got to be mixed with that so pay attention to the correct way to do these things it's only for the safety of yourself and your clients when you get into the field please y'all pay attention Pay attention. If, if a product say mix this amount 
with this amount of this other product, you need to do just that. Because if you do a little bit more or a little bit less, baby, you don't know what happened. And I don't want to know what will happen. So just pay attention to what things are saying. Make sure that you're reading um, efficiently. Make sure that what you're reading is what you're also comprehending. Okay. You know, um, because it's very important, the safety of yourself um, and also sanitation as well, especially, you know, right now with COVID going on and all those things. Um, you just want to pay attention on the right way to sanitize and cleanse and disinfect things because girl, girl, mm -mm. you give somebody a little, a little cold or a little something else, baby, them people could come for you and they ain't coming for me. So yeah, just pay attention to those procedures. So you know the correct way to do these things, how things can react and just you just want to be on your stuff you know when you know what you're talking about people are more inclined to gravitate towards you because they're like you know what all these other people just doing frontals and they just doing that i'm not knocking the frontal girls at all period love them love them but you know <laughs> they'll be like oh this girl just doing frontals on my head but this girl over here she know what she's talking about she could tell me how this glue gonna react to my forehead and how i can fix it if it do react to my forehead and I don't really even go to the doctor, which you still should. But, you know, like, just know um, chemicals and know all those things so that if those things do happen when you get in the field, you know how to correct them. That's very important. Okay. So, this next one has to be so, 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 so important. I done said that about everyone, haven't I? But they're all important, y'all. They're all important tips, okay? This one will be take pictures take videos take those pictures and take your videos this is a visual representation of your work when it's time to get in the field even though um if you're like my school we're not currently taking clients due to covid but baby them little mannequins will come in handy now okay take pictures of everything that you do like you want people to see that you've been working right you want them to know that you know what you're doing, right? You got to be able to show these people that. You're not going to gain a clientele just by sitting there saying, oh, let me do your hair, let me do your hair. Or oh, I'm taking appointments. Or oh, I'm taking clients. Okay. What that means to them if they haven't seen any of the work that you can do. So take your pictures, take your videos, post them on your Instagram. If you are not, if you're starting cosmetology school or you're currently in cosmetology school and you do not, have a a visual representation to um present your work you're doing it wrong okay i know um since my school isn't taking um clients i don't really post the things that i do but i do post like on my personal page that i am in cosmetology school people know that i post like little things like when i'm setting up my station for the day i put like let people know people need to know so even if they're not seeing like the actual work they that you're doing, they still curious like, hmm, she doing something. Let, let me see what she's talking about, you know? <laughs> also, girl, first of all, let's stop right here. If you're not following my business page, even it, 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 do that, do that. It's at Shady Beauty Co. on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on everything. She's everywhere. And if you're not following my personal page, Follow that, okay? At Hey, I'm Shay D on everything as well, okay? Shameless little plug. But yes, y'all, start building your portfolio. Start posting pictures. Even if you're not um, taking clients like we are in my school, start posting little things that you're doing throughout the day. If you're just practicing at home, post that on your story. Like, it doesn't have to be a feed post. Post it on your story so people know that you are actually working and all those things, right? So that also leads me to the next tip practice 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 because practice. practice make perfect right <laughs> the more you practice the more you be, you will become a master my teacher always say that you're not a master if you only did it one time 
and those truly are facts okay make sure that you're practicing even if it's a style or like something that you don't like to do still practice it you know like girl i hate a finger wave i hate me a finger wave okay i do not like doing finger waves i think they are the scum of the earth not playing <laughs> i don't think they're scum of the earth but there's a difference between school finger waves and in the field finger waves like y'all if you are currently in cosmetology school or you are a, currently a stylist or whatever you already know there's a difference and i hate doing school finger waves with a passion but i i do it i do it anyway because the more you practice the more you will perfect it and you never know something that you didn't like in cosmetology school the more that you practice it even when you get out of cosmetology school you may figure out hold on this is a trend right now and i can make a little money off it let me say something yes going to cosmetology school like we discussed in our first tip shouldn't like the main goal should not be because of money but baby this about to be your career so obviously we want to make a little monties okay a little coins right um so yeah child if it's a trend right then and it's something you learn you really like to do girl still practice it because you can make a little money off of it you hear what i'm telling you uh-huh okay let's go to the next one so with practicing you're gonna make mistakes it's inevitable but this is the time to do it don't be afraid to make mistakes in school you rather make them in school than to make them when you get in the field you don't want to be messing up nobody's head when you get in the field and you say you a licensed cosmetologist they're gonna be looking at you crazy my girl they're gonna be looking at you crazy okay and you don't want that this is the time to make those mistakes if you have a good teacher who actually can teach and who is willing to let you make those mistakes make them now try different things out see what you like see um what you're doing that can be improved um and allow your instructors to help you do that that's one thing i'm the i'm the type of person that i'm low-key like a perfectionist but i've had to like teach myself that you're in school for a reason so allow yourself to make mistakes and to be corrected on those mistakes right um that's very important because you don't want to get up <laughs> when you get in the field what rupaul say and don't get up period <laughs> okay this is the time right now to make those mistakes make them We're, i'm not saying intentionally make mistakes absolutely not but if you do make a mistake don't beat yourself up just try and correct it the next time so that you just be the bomb and you rarely, it, it, it's going to be a rare occasion in the future that you make a mistake. And that's on period, okay? We have come to our last and final tip of this video. And it is do not compare yourself to others. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because you will just find yourself disappointed all the time. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. I will look at stylists or other wig makers and be like, oh, they have this amount of followers and they're doing this. And I feel like I'm putting so much work in and I'm not getting the same results. Guess what? We all had to start somewhere. And I'm, I'm speaking to me for real, for real. I'm speaking to y'all, but I'm speaking to me too. Okay. We all have to start somewhere and you may not realize the hardships that those people that you're looking at now comparing yourself to had to go through to get to where they are now continue to put the work in continue to soak up all that knowledge continue to make those mistakes if if you make them and not beat yourself up continue to take your pictures continue to pay attention to those procedures continue 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 continue, continue. that's all i got to say is continue okay word of the day is continue if you got this far in the video comment down below continue <laughs> no but seriously y'all comparing yourself is only going to frustrate you that's all it's going to do it's going to frustrate you it's going to discourage you and then what is all this for if you continue to do that and now you're discouraged what you even started for 
What you even put in the time that you put in into this for? What is it for, right? So don't compare yourself to other people. Your journey is your journey. What God has for you is for you. And that's, that's just what it is. So y'all, we have come to the conclusion of this video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe yeah comment down below any other videos that you would like to see whether you are a cosmetology student whether you um are starting cosmetology school whether you are a boss babe anything she does it all she's a one woman show over here <laughs> okay so comment down below any video ideas that you would like to see comment down below if this video was helpful because um i feel like i gave some good tips but sometimes she has a problem articulating what she wants to say so let me know if this video was helpful in the comments um and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know each and every time she upload a video i'm thinking that's it that's all she out <laughs>